Coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, where dreams are made and fame is just a boot scoot away. It's the Nashville Entertainment Weekly Show, the new show with your host, T.J. Gates. Hi, this is Jeff Yarbrough, guest correspondent for Nashville Entertainment Weekly, the new entertainment show here in Nashville, a T.J. Cates production. Visiting with us today is the lovely and talented Ashira. Ashira. Yeah. Ashira. Thank you. So we're glad to be able to catch up with her. She's got a busy life and uh, lots of good music coming, and we'll be chatting with her about that here just in a second. But uh, first of all, we wanted to mention the fact that we are at the wonderful Belcourt Taps here in Nashville, the heart of everything that's happening here, and they're very kind to let us come in and video here. And uh, so tell us about what you've been up to. What's, what's, what's brought you to this point? I moved to Nashville about two and a half years ago, and um, I've been writing collectively with uh, many co-writers and um, decided to bring it all together and create an album. And and here we are, and now it's being placed on movies and radio and just all sorts of exciting things, and so it just kind of happened. There you go. Well, that's great. It's good to be in the right place at the right time, right? Yeah, There's this is definitely a community. There's definitely a verge of artists coming together and supporting each other to the point where it's just coming up with a new revolution of artists. What would you label your genre of music? Uh, definitely rock and roll. Um, definitely rock and roll. It's an eclectic sound of 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and modern, so it's like all over the place. That's good. A good wide mixture of what's going on. That's neat. Yeah, yeah. That's neat. Every, every song on the album is a little bit different taste. We got uh, vibes of Zeppelin. We have vibes of Hendrix. We have Joan Jett, ACDC. We have a little bit of a Radiohead sound, so it's like all over the place. What's your favorite song? Oh man, my favorite song um, I co-wrote with a friend of mine named Dan Fenton of Feedback Revival and they're also a local band here in uh, East Nashville. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called Burn Down the City and um, it's a very sad song but it's a very emotional and um, sentimental song to me. So that's, that's why that's my favorite but I guess Remember every artist has that that yeah. sentimental, heartfelt, like, my soul's breaking <laughs> type of song. Right, right. Very close. Well, tell us a little bit more about uh, who all you've got in your band. How many pieces? Um, well, we have our bass player. His name is Stephen Thomas. Um, he's also an artist himself. Um, we have our drummer, um, Dustin, and he has been playing with many bands, and he's absolutely fantastic. He just kind of showed up to practice and was like, able to play our songs like that, so it was great. Um, we also have our guitar player, uh, Wade Foyer, and he's from Indianapolis. He's a blues player, so a really, blues player. That's yeah, good. yeah, That's blues good. rock. And then um, we also have a rhythm guitar player right now, um, Jeremy, and he's he's been in the band for a short while, but he's a close friend of all of us. So. That's yeah. good. Do y'all have a weekly gig that you do, or, or you're still pretty much moving around different places and doing different things? I'm, I mean, different venues and different friends and artists, um, friends of ours have just asked us to play. Um, we're working with management, and they're working on um, tours out for festivals, South by Southwest, New York, um, mm -hmm. all those on the West Coast. So, yeah. That's cool. Well, tell us, where would you like to go? Where, where, do your, where are your plans? Uh, and, of course, I know I've heard that there's some things that are in the works that are still kind of secret. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> what, uh, what can you tell us, and what, what are your aspirations? I can tell you that exciting things are about to happen, and we're going to go everywhere. And that's everywhere. what we want to do. Yeah. That's good. Everywhere. And we just heard a clip on Reverb Nation that you can search for A-S-H-E-I-R-A yeah. and find her on Reverb Nation and listen to these clips as well. Uh, tell us something funny that's happened to you on your trip. Tell us uh, on some of your tours and things like that. 
When I first started playing my stuff out, um, I was touring with an independent band called Auto Defiance, and we were going um, on the West Coast to Ohio and uh, Philadelphia, New York City, and we were constantly touring for about two weeks, and we've had some really rough times on tours and really exciting and luxurious, nice things, but there's been some times where I've had to sleep on a dog bed. <laughs> because You slept on a dog bed? I, I did, I did. Our, our drummer currently had back surgery, so he had to take the couch, so. <laughs> I see. Yeah, there's so been some crazy stories, <laughs> but really fun. Well, that's good. Brought that's us close, good. yeah. So tell us, where can everybody hear your music? Um, they will be able to hear the new single um, on Reverb Nation if they search for Ashera, and that's spelled A-S-H-E-I-R-A. -A. a lot mm -hmm. of people tend to misspell that, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, Facebook, um, the Ashera, and YouTube. You can pretty much Google that name, and it will be the only thing that they will see find up. And, um, yeah, so that's where they'll find it. We expect to see great things from you, and we'll be following you and watching what's going on with your career. And uh, thank you. Best wishes to you guys, yeah. and uh, thanks for coming out and being with us today. No, thank you for and having me. <laughs> thanks for being on the Nashville Entertainment Weekly, yeah. and we hope you guys will tune in for the next episode. Let's go. Swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no way better. Cause you're the baddest country boy. Sweet to see. He ain't got my soft lips on him.